Welcome back for another video. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some goose calling. Now, we're gonna talk about all of the fundamentals of goose calling and the different notes that you can do when you're calling geese. Now, I'm not an accomplished goose caller by any means. I know how to call the birds to get them to come into the spread. That's all I need. I don't need to be on a stage trying to win competitions. I just wanna call like a goose hunter and get the geese to come to the spread. That's the end goal for me. So. I'm using my Rick Haney Calls Honker Hatchet. It's a short reed goose call, fully acrylic. It's an awesome call. So if you guys are interested in checking these out, I'll leave a link to Rick's website in the description. And if you guys are interested, I've got these t-shirts and hats and all kinds of other gear on the website. So I've got a link in the description for my website as well. If you guys are interested in picking up some apparel and helping support the channel, I'll leave that for you guys to go check out. Let's go ahead and talk about some goose calling. It's a uh, difficult thing to learn if you're new, but with time and practice, you will eventually get the hang of it and be calling geese. So the basics of goose calling is the moan and the cluck. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the moan. With any calling that you're gonna do, especially with geese, the air comes from here. It's gonna come from your diaphragm and you're gonna push that air up and make it moany and groany all the way up. You don't wanna just blow into the call and make it sound like a kazoo. <laughs> That's not realistic, and uh, I personally prefer to sound like real birds, so I like to do it with a little bit of moan and groan, and I'm sure a lot of other guys do too. Now, I have more experience hunting honkers, not cacklers or lessers, okay? So there's a difference between those geese. If you're calling cacklers and lessers in the massive groups over big spreads, then you're gonna need to sound like a bunch of geese. But for me, I hunt honkers with some smaller spreads. We're decoying five, 10, 15, maybe 20 geese at the most. So we wanna sound like a little bit of a smaller spread. So your calling is gonna be a little bit different. So today we're gonna to do my wheelhouse and talk about calling some honkers. But you can do these same principles with lessers and cacklers. Just speed it up and do it a lot more. Now, first things first, we need to learn how to hold the goose call. If you're not holding it right, you're not gonna be able to blow it right. So what you do, you make this with your hand, put the call in that crotch of your hand, wrap the thumb around, wrap your hand around. You want these two fingers down and these two fingers kind of holding like a golf ball in there. So you can close and open, but you still want that open cavity in there because that's where the sound will resonate and broadcast out from, okay? so. To make the moan, you need to be very groany. So you're gonna bring the air up here and go ooh, ooh, ooh. You wanna go ooh, and make it raspy, blow hard, tighten up the abs, bring that air up, and make it moany, okay? So into the back of the call, the moan's gonna sound like this. And you're gonna have to play around with your call. Uh, sometimes it takes me a couple of tries to get the moan down. I can't. Oftentimes, I can't really just whip it out and go Moo, and make it moany. So I kind of got to play with the call as I go to make that moan sound. So you're basically being soft. You're going to hold the call a little bit tighter because then it's going to be able to do that moany sound a little easier. And then you're going to blow soft, okay? So. <laughs> Think about if you've ever been to a park or anywhere where geese are nested, and you're getting close to the nest, the mama goose is probably gonna be doing a little bit of moany groany saying, hey, I'm over here. So make that moany groany noise. And it's oftentimes, and that's often used in the field when the geese are just hanging out, they're talking to each other, they're saying, hey, back off, this is my space. Or they're saying, hey, I'm eating this, this is tasting good, I like this. The thing about geese in the field is they're a little bit more aggressive than on the water. I personally prefer hunting geese over water, but in the field, the moan is pretty useful as well. You can also hold your hand up next to it. I do that most of the time when I'm calling because you can move this around and that'll give you a little bit different sounds. So you can sound like multiple geese at one time. But the moan, you need to learn the moan so then you can do the honk. But next we're gonna learn about the cluck. So the moan, pretty simple. You're just moany groany and making it sound like I'm relaxed, I'm chilling, I'm just moany and groany. So 
So nice and soft, make sure you get a little bit of gruntiness going, going ooh, ooh, ooh. Play around with it. It's gonna be pretty easy to get that note, but make sure you're not holding this open because it's kind of difficult to get the moany sound. Keep it closed. Okay, so once we got that down, we need to learn how to do the cluck. The cluck is a call that I use a lot. I don't necessarily use the moan too much, but I really like using the cluck. The cluck sounds like this. You use the same kind of air that you're using with the moan, and that's the same air you're gonna be using throughout this whole goose calling that you're gonna be doing. So once you get that air down for the moan, you can move into the cluck. And the cluck, you're basically going and it's a very fast, just sharp cluck. You're just clucking. And it's very difficult to put the actions into words with calling. So you're basically going to go hoot, 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 hoot. You want to get the air moving fast and then cut it off. And then you're going to get that short cluck. So you're going to be hoot, the back, the tip of the tongue, hoot, hoot. It's almost like calling ducks with the quack. It's the, it's the goose version of the quack. So, in the back of the call, it sounds like this. You want to force that air up real quick, get that sharp, crisp sound in that call, and then cut it off. Okay? So, you're going to go... I love, love, love using a cluck. I'll use it in the field. I'll use it on a pond. Whenever I'm hunting geese, I will be using a cluck. We got the moan, and we got the cluck. And with the cluck, you can kind of play around with your little tuners here and make it sound like multiple geese. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, do different cadences with it. It's a great way to sound like multiple geese talking at the same time. I suppose I should probably slow it down for you guys and this is what it sounds like. So up next, let's talk about the honk. The honk uses the moan and the cluck, okay? And I'm kind of thinking that I should have done the honk before the cluck because the cluck is basically a really fast version of the honk, but you, I, it's okay. You can go back and try the cluck again after doing the honk. So the honk, you start with the moan and you end with the cluck. So, it sounds like this. I generally don't use the honk very much, but if I'm trying to get the attention of some other geese out there, they're not necessarily coming over, then I will generally give them a honk, okay? So use a few honks. It's like you're the loner goose. You're flying around. A lot of times the loners will do single honks trying to locate other birds. So use that honk to kind of help you out. Into the back of the call, this is what the honk sounds like. So you're going hoot, hoot, or hoot, hoot, hoot. And you're using that firm, strong air, getting some good rasp, and play around with your hands, okay? Figure out what works for you and just play around with it. It's not gonna sound perfect every time. I'm even out of practice at this point and I'm struggling to do the honk and partly because I don't use the honk very much. But nonetheless, practice makes perfect and you're gonna go hoo-it, hoo-it, hoo-it. Make sure to get it moany, make it groany, and make it sound goosey. So those are the three things that I really generally like to use when I'm calling geese. Now, you can get to speed things up once you get those three down, and then you can make a little bit of a calling sequence. But I can tell you firsthand, and watching this over and over again, if you're calling big geese and they're in small groups, they don't want to hear a million geese on the ground. Okay, a lot of times people pick up a goose call in the blind and they just go, they're just hammering the geese. And you know, I sit over there and I'm like, okay, we got to change something because in my experience, from what I've noticed, calling and talking to them low and slow, the big honkers, they're not about the crazy thousand spread noise. Okay. 
Slow it down with your honkers. Talk nice to them. Be slow and easy. They're the big, you know, slow, relaxed guys. Okay, and then they kind of get excited once they start getting close. Okay, so if I'm calling geese, most of the time I'm sticking low and slow the whole time all the way to the finish. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do a calling sequence for you guys so you get an understanding of what I'm talking about. <coughs> Read the birds, see what they like, see what they don't like. But with geese, they want a little bit of calling. But if you're not the best caller, just give them some clucks and bring them in. You know, you don't have to be doing anything fancy to get birds to come into your spread. Be in the right place, do your scouting, get the decoys out there, let the decoys do most of the work. Open water that's moving is the best way to entice birds in. Your calling is your second, okay? So use your spot, use your decoys, trust that your blinds are brushed in, and trust your calling. Now one last note that I wanna talk about is the spit note and the quick spit. This is something that I just figured out last year. I'm no expert in this one. I still struggle with it from time to time, but I think it works pretty well for getting birds to decoy. A lot of times, like especially on water, when you get one or two coming in, they're doing the spit note as they're kind of cupped up coming in. And a lot of times I like to mimic that noise when they're doing it. And it's a very fast version of a cluck. And the way I like to do it in the back of the call, so you're doing, you want to get that air going and then cut it off. Down, up, with your tongue is what you're doing. So you're going, you want that hard T to get it making that note and then cut it off. Okay, so that's the spit note. A lot of times that call is also useful when geese are uh, going away from you. Like they checked out the spread and then they're leaving. You can hit them with the spit note and sometimes they come back. Now the quick spit, it's the same thing as that, but it's a lot faster and shorter. So you're going toot. So you're making that hard T, getting that air moving fast, hold it and then shut it. Okay, open the door, shut the door. And in the back of the call, it sounds like this. Now this is the one that made me lose my mind because I could not get it. I do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Keep trying, keep trying. Eventually I get that note and I'm like, how did I do that? And I try it again and couldn't figure it out. So... This is one that took a lot of practice and I'm still practicing it to this day, but I wanted to throw that in this video just because, you know, it's, it's goose calling. I want to share with you guys that I'm still learning as well. I want to share with you what I've learned and how to do it. So the quick spit. So you tighten things up, get that air moving fast. That, that's the basics of it. Since this is something that I just learned and I'm not the greatest at, it's difficult for me to explain. But hopefully that gave you guys a general idea. But let's say you're hunting lessers and cacklers for some odd reason. I hate hunting those things. Like I'll do it every now and then, but if I had to hunt lessers and cacklers every single time I went goose hunting, I don't think I would enjoy it as much. So lessers and cacklers, you're basically just mixing it all up and sounding like a lot of geese. <laughs> That is what it sounds like when you're calling little geese. But I personally prefer big geese and that's mainly what I have in my area. So fortunately I don't have to do that every time I'm hunting, just low and slow. So I hope this video helped you guys out with learning how to goose call. Make sure you go back, rewatch it. But practicing, 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 practicing is what you need to do. You can get the fundamentals down, learn how to do it, 
from watching videos, but you need to practice and actually work with your call and figure out what works best for you. Because what works for me might not work exactly the same for you. But don't choke the call. You wanna make sure you have it open a little bit. Use your hands to change the tones and make sure to cut those notes off hard and sharp. You guys can go ahead and follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all that I've got for this calling instructional. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps you. And I will catch you guys on the next video.